There's a lot of misinformation about melatonin, which of course is the hormone of darkness helping with our sleep. I'm gonna share five amazing tips to boost your own melatonin levels and why that's so important. And of course, my number one tip is something that you really need to pay attention to because there could be some dangerous consequences if you don't. Okay, so we know that melatonin is secreted and released when we are in a dark, cold room when we are sleeping. And this happens typically in the nighttime when our outer world, so our outer environment, naturally turns dark at nighttime. Now, for those people who have not a great melatonin secretion on their own and their melatonin levels are actually quite low, this is where insomnia is becomes a problem and you may be waking up a lot in the night because you don't have that proper spike of your melatonin at the right time of the night. Now, with low melatonin, some of the consequences could also be weight gain. Of course, if you're not sleeping properly and you're not getting your proper leptin secretion, your proper thyroid hormone secretion, which happens typically more so when we're sleeping, this could be adding on to your waistline and you're gaining that weight and you're not sure why. Also with low melatonin levels, this could affect your moods and anxiety, things like depression as well, as that's related to your melatonin secretion not being in sync with the dark cycle of the day. But the good news is I've got five amazing tips to help to boost your own melatonin levels and of course doing this naturally. Okay, number five, let's start here. Stop eating at least four hours before bedtime. This is going to ensure that you're in a lower insulin state, lower glycemic state. To actually properly secrete your melatonin, you need to be in that low insulin state. If you have eaten before bed, especially carbohydrates, you've spiked your blood glucose levels, now you've got that higher insulin secretion, you won't be able to properly release your melatonin. Okay, tip number four is to make sure that you are blocking that blue light, especially at night. So if you are on a screen, Green after the sun has set, this is going to be a problem. That's going to decrease, and this is what the research shows, it decreases your own melatonin secretion as the night is going on. So this is really important, blocking artificial light after sunset. Seeing that early morning sunlight is also important to help your body to make that melatonin throughout the day so that it can be properly released at bedtime. And of course, grounding. So taking off your socks, your shoes, especially first thing in the morning when you're seeing that sunrise is going to dramatically help not only the anti-inflammatory effects for your body but that proper connection with your environment so that you can have that good melatonin secretion for sleep. Okay, number three, which kind of goes with number four, is no screens after dark. So after the sun has set, that is the signaling to your brain, to your entire nervous system, that the day is finished, it's time for bed, it's time for sleep very soon. If you've got those bright screens on in your eyes and telling your brain that it is the middle of the day because of that artificial light, this is gonna be a problem in terms of your proper circadian timing for your proper sleep and your proper melatonin secretion, and that's gonna keep you up. Okay, tip number two is to, of course, fix your circadian rhythm. So getting into a natural sleep cycle that is very regular, following the light and dark cycle of the day is gonna become very important for your insomnia and for your proper melatonin secretion that is secreted properly as the day and the darkness ensues. And of course, as you're waking up, that melatonin is dropping off. And this is when your cortisol levels kick in when you first see that morning light. And tip number one, of course, is probably the most important, and this is where so many of you are making a big mistake, never take a melatonin supplement. It's something that I've never prescribed to any of my patients. I've never taken it myself. I'm quite frankly scared of it because it's a hormone that your body actually makes, so you shouldn't necessarily be taking it, and people are doing it wrong. Even giving children melatonin, there have been some links now to the damage of the feedback loops to the brain between your eyes and what's happening in your eyes with natural light coming in your eyes and then that synthetic melatonin that you're taking as a supplement and how that is affecting actually your eye health and also the fact that your brain now and your body becomes reliant on having that exogenous, that external source of that melatonin. So all your feedback loops get messed up, your other hormones can also get messed up and this is not a healthy situation. Now, I'm curious, do you want to admit it? Do you take melatonin as a supplement? Please let me know in the comments. Now, for more reasons why you shouldn't eat before bed, something that I talked about in this video, I want you to check out another one of my videos. It's called Weight Loss Tips, Don't Eat After Six. I'll see you there.